Hello guys, how are you? If you know how, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is, yes, another celebrity tarot. We're going to be talking about Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson, as you saw the title. Um, we're going to find out, you know, a little bit of what they had in that relationship, what could happen and whatnot. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles could be reversed between them and energies. As I always say, the, I do not run a daycare. So this is entirely general. And as always, uh, this is for entertainment purposes only, as well as everything is allegedly. So with this said, let's move forward, guys. If you want any or you have any suggestions of any other artists or celebrity, please comment down below. All energy, thank you so much. So we have right here the Ace of Swords and the Strength Card in Reverse. We have Leo Energy and Libra Gemini Aquarius as well. So I do see right here. Um, so this is representing kim kardashian and this is representing uh pete right so it seems right here uh kim kardashian is the ace of swords and if i'm not mistaken i know i feel like uh kim is a libra if not an air sign anyways i do feel like she is represented as raw power she's represented as victory she's represented as mental clarity as well as she is represented as someone mature Sorry about that. It's just like we I live in Wisconsin and today there is a snowstorm and they're cleaning the streets. So that's why. But moving from this, um, she's represented as raw power and him is represented as weakness. <laughs> He's represented as weakness, as the strength card in reverse. Uh, he lacked, and, and he's allegedly, according to this, he lack of discipline and she was um, very disciplined. She had a lot of discipline. So there were two opposites that they could have worked, but there were two opposites. Like uh, she is stable. She knows what she wants. She knows all of it. He is still like trying to find himself or discover himself. And, you know, we can also uh, are aware of the age gap that they had. So that could have been why, you know, that could have been why. Continuing to that, we have here the Five of Swords, Aquarius Energy in reverse, as well as the um, Eight of Pentacles, which is Virgo Energy. Um, I do feel that she was open to change. She was open to change because he wouldn't... She, technically, he's not the guy she would go for, okay? Not only she physically, maybe, but also the, the difference in age and the difference in personalities, okay? That's a big thing. Like, it wasn't like a guy that she will automatically go for, but she was open to change, uh, open to try new things, and she also wanted to pass resentment uh, as if she had dated somebody younger back back then, things did not work. So she didn't want to project that upon him. And she's like, you know what? I want to give myself a chance. Um, she actually allowed herself to get to know him. She actually allowed herself to get to know his job. Uh, she never interfered in any way, shape, or form. At the same time, it seems like she was either or planning to go to law school because I know she's a lawyer or she is about to be a lawyer. But I do feel like she also wasn't in, in, in between like um, adding to the books of education. You know, even if she's going to be a lawyer or not, education is something that nobody can take away from you once you already achieve that you know, practice or that experience, right? So I do feel like she also was in the middle of college or studying of some sort and some like uh, apprenticeship or something. I do see education and I do see right here that she was also working hard for her family, her kids specifically, and he also was working on his own projects, okay? Now, um, I do see that it seems like in his end, he wasn't very happy allegedly because he was lacking of success. Success or some projects were not were not uh, where he wanted it, and he also saw that she was doing better, better and better. Or he compared himself allegedly towards her and said, "You know what? She's doing better than me." So this caused him a little bit to be a little bit insecure and feel a little bit less of a man or not worthy of her. And this is just a tiny bit. It seems right here that at the same time. Um, he was very immature for her. 
he was uh, foolish and he could have been reckless and he is a risk-taking individual which it was uh, she will actually uh, have issues accepting that or trying to match that energy we're going back to the different personalities we're going back to the age gap as well now we go right here with the nine of cups right here um allegedly with the cards right here he considered her too greedy he considered her too materialistic and he considered her at times that she was all about the looks like a pr stunt kind of thing she was all about like cameras like let's tell the paparazzi we're here like this is the kind of energy i allegedly once again through the reading today so i do feel like this is something that started to make him consider and maybe say like you know maybe i don't like her that much or i'm dissatisfied with the relationship or i don't know if i can take this uh forever or if this is gonna be a long-term situation so again different personalities different lifestyles different ways of seeing things was already getting in the way and this was the beginning of like they making it official like a couple months in and they've already like like having this kind of thought at least his energies uh was was having those kind of thoughts of like hmm do i really like this do i really like that you know like is that like i'm like i'm saying you know what i'm saying and um well, the six of ones right here, we got Leo energy. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they both like the public recognition. They both like that people were talking about them. This also allowed both of them to have some sort of progress. Uh, <coughs> this also gave more self-confidence to the both of them as well. But... Um, we already know, allegedly, by the cards that he was not as convinced that he wanted to stay with this person, with Kim, forever. But he stayed because it was making him look good and was helping him in a way to perform. Of course, he has his career. Of course, he's successful. But allegedly, with this card, it says that it did help him, too. Again, you can fight with me all you want, but I don't give a thing. Like, the cards don't lie, as I said before. And you you don't have to cry about it. This is allegedly. You can take it or leave it as, again, it's a free reading for you. You don't have to do nothing about it, but take it or leave it. But I do see right here that he could have stayed because he said, you know what? I'm going to take what I can. What I'm going to take what I, what I can from, from this relationship you know like even though that he wasn't as convinced he saw it as an opportunity allegedly once again we got the hermit energy we got the six of swords in reverse the justice in reverse the eight of swords in the reverse the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and overall, the hiccups down. I like wanted to have your hiccups. Six of Wands and uh, seven of Wands, I should say, and the Knight of Wands at the bottom. So I know that it seems like it's been going around that it was a mutual thing. Keep in mind when people say there is a mutual breakup, there's, it's never mutual. If you have ever had a relationship, it's never mutual because it goes like this. One of the two wants to talk and brings that up and the other person just agrees. That is what a mutual breakup is. It's not like they both say, we want to talk. No, it's just one of them tends to say something and the other one agrees with it. But the one that brings up the conversation is the one that broke up not the person who agreed you know what i'm saying um and that's how it always works you can argue with me all you want cry over there because it's true um with the hermit right here and the six of swords in the reverse right here i do feel that um i do feel like kim was the one doing the soul search uh, i do feel that she was trying to get in, in uh introspection 
and she needed inner guidance she needed a, mo a moment to be alone and this was when she was alone she had like it was a good night she was like thinking like hmm I, do i really want to do this so i do feel like she was thinking and contemplating but at the same time she wanted to give it a shot she's like you know it's too soon for me to tell maybe i'm just being too judgmental perhaps and she allegedly continued to with the connection not because she wanted to gain anything either as well is because she wanted to give it a shot but at the same time she was struggling with Kanye and all of that so it was like things adding to her plates that she you know really didn't need um with justice and reverse this is libra energy this is representing kim and the eight of swords and the reverse gemini energy as well uh i do feel that uh she didn't feel that the connection or the relationship was fair uh there's a sense of she feeling this this honesty this honesty from pete allegedly and she was actually trying to open herself to new perspective she was actually trying to say to herself maybe i'm doing this or saying this because of my past relationships so at the same time she was willing to release and she was willing to ignore her intuition in in ways but we all know where we are right now she tried to with the two of pentacles she's like all i need to do is find balance i all i need to do is to adapt all I need to do is, you know, time management. Uh, there was also differences when it comes to scheduling and work. So that also caused quite friction and I don't know, maybe inconsistencies as well. Um, she felt like with him that the emotional connection was not there. She felt emotional insecurities. She felt like, uh, I don't know, um, she fear of getting some sort of codependency here as well maybe from him towards her or her towards him it, do it doesn't actually uh clarify that but it does says that she felt like i don't want to be codependent or i don't want him to be codependent either um there was uh constant challenges she felt there was competition she felt there was other people in, in between or that he could have been interested again this allegedly and this is something that she felt um some people started mentioning the age differences and whatnot and she was feeling a little bit insecure and uh she did like that he was adventurous not gonna lie she liked like the the intimacy between them was very good uh the energy the passion was there but i do feel that the age gap was one of the reasons because you know sometimes guys tend to take longer to mature than than females um an upright right here we got here uh the three of pentacles capricorn energy uh she was trying to look for teamwork and collaboration but i do feel like she felt like she was carrying the whole thing again this is just what she felt allegedly um there's also a uh, temptation as it seems like he had a lot of options and i do feel that you know uh the minute he was with her uh, other people wanted to to be with him you know sometimes uh the biggest hater of a female is another another female and regardless if they know you or not and i'm talking about her of course it's like you know they saw her with him and some people tried to get into this his dms and send him stuff uh or i don't know flirting with him and he wasn't really pushing them away but he wasn't paying attention to them either so this is something that she was bothered by um, she, with Asa once right here, Leo Sagittarius Aries, uh, she wanted to end things, but she saw, she saw the good in him and she's like, you know what, um, this is the beginning, this could have potential, so she continues to push forward, but, um, with the four of ones right here, planes, guys, planes, with the four of ones right here, um, she wanted to settle down, she wants like, she wanted to settle down she didn't want to be traveling here and there all the time because of the kids because of the, the kids school she wanted harmony she wanted like marriage like home in a community and i do feel like he did not want that and as i said two of swords we got here libra and gemini energy i do see that he wasn't about that this is when indecisions blocked emotions uh issues started to arise and i feel like they both felt like oh my god we both want two different things you know what i'm saying 
with the four of cups right here i do see with cancer energy uh, they both took a minute to meditate to contemplate the situation to reevaluate but i do see him being the one who ended things or to say you know what let me let's talk i feel like it's best for us to be friends or not continue this because all of the things i told you um and i do feel that she was very clear mentally and what she was saying and what she really wanted and not wanted and i do feel right here with the six of cups right here in the reverse that um they both uh you know the connection was unrealistic and it was really never going to work uh because of course kim travels of course she does her own thing but what the way that he did things and his job and his career was taking him she just didn't want to follow and of course nobody needs to do anything they don't want to do not him not her and that is why allegedly they end up things because a lot of things were in the way but also uh he had people in the dms or he was talking to people allegedly as well and even though that they were dating but not dating like it was official ish uh she wanted a, a, a level of respect that he wasn't given and again everybody is allowed to feel and do whatever they want and that is why they're not together this could have been multiple other reasons but this is like the the main energy that is popping right here and then she felt uh, there was insecurities in the connection and they decided to end things. But it seems to be that he agreed to it, but that Kim was the one that was the talk talkative, the one that like actually uh, brought up the conversation of ending. She realized that it was with the lovers and reverse. We got Gemini energy. There was this harmony. There was uh, imbalance and there was misalignment of values and desire. So she was the one who ended it seems like it but they agree in, in saying that it was mutual because it was there was no big argument or anything she brought it up and he agreed to it and that's that that's why they're amicable that's why they're not arguing or you don't see them throwing shit at each other all the time maybe once in a while but maybe not i don't know um at the end of the day this is allegedly what happened and what the reason was so with this said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As I said before, if you want me to continue to do celebrities, please go down below and let me know what you want to know and what to hear. I thank you everybody for the support and the love you guys have been showing to my celebrity tarot. I'm very happy to be able to do this. It's very entertaining as well. Um, again, I do apologize for the times that I had to pause, but I'm a mother before anything. And of course, there is things that I need to pause for, like taking a piss or there's interruptions that are out of my control that i don't like to be in my videos that's why i pause so with this said i uh, most likely show you my social media so if you follow me on instagram i follow back i have a tiktok i have a small group on facebook i have an upcoming project if you want to know how to read cards i have an upcoming project on my patreon where i'm going to be offering to reading classes there's going to be a lot of things going on there so i'm working on it as well as if you want to follow my second channel it's going to be in the description box below and that is my vlogging channel as well as if you want to get up personal reading with me you can book directly on my website which is going to be in the description box below and you can actually get a reading with me if that's your desire with this said i want to thank you once again for the love and support i want to give you a friendly reminder that i do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and i never message anybody ever on any platform requesting or asking for if you want personal readings you can only book with me on my website which is description box below again if you want me to read for any other celebrity please don't hesitate and write it down below and with this said thank you so very much have an amazing day and love you forever